Well, guys, if Boris Johnson has not let you down before now, this could well swing it. We have all witnessed the never-ending virtue signaling provided by the super-rich Lewis Hamilton in relation to BLM and anything he thinks will make him look good on Twitter. This guy is a seven-time world champion F1 driver, but I hear more about his politics than I do his racing, which naturally makes me think he's a complete tosspot. Obviously, we should be hearing about his feats on the track, not him bending the knee like the snivelling shit weasel that he is. Because if you ask me, he is just jumping on a bandwagon with BLM. He does not give a shit about their activism bollocks in the slightest. It's just as I said, a good bit of PR for him that seems to have paid off in at least one sense that is. Because reports out today are suggesting Boris Johnson, man of the people and someone who wanted to stop the woke bullshit that we deal with every day, has now decided he will knight this sanctimonious virtue signaling toss pot, literally pissing in the pockets of all who voted for him in the hope of stopping the woke downfall of this country. Because if he's ready to knight this sanctimonious toss pot like I said, then anything is possible, and he certainly won't be stopping the woke bullshit that we see. In fact, I'm expecting him to make it get worse. But the Express covered this earlier, so we will take a quick look at that. It headlines, Lewis Hamilton to be knighted as Boris Johnson uses loophole to honour F1 world champion. Lewis Hamilton is set to become a sir in the New Year's honours after Prime Minister Boris Johnson demanded his inclusion. Hamilton is now a seven-time F1 world champion, matching the incredible record of Michael Schumacher. Although he has surpassed Michael Schumacher in terms of virtue signalling, as we all know. Perhaps that's why he's actually getting this. Boris Johnson is trying to appeal to his new FPBE supporters, because take a look on Twitter, it's all those losers there that are supporting Boris Johnson's lunatic lockdowns. It goes on, Hamilton is now regarded as one of the greatest ever British sportsmen, and is set to join the likes of Mo Farah and Andy Murray, who have been knighted in recent years. The 35-year-old dominated the 2020 F1 season from start to finish, with nobody getting near him, especially not when it comes to virtue signalling on the track. There were concerns Hamilton may not be able to be knighted because of worries over his tax status in the UK, or should we say, the complete lack of it. At this point, everyone knows where he lives, so that is not really a secret. It says the Prime Minister will place the Mercedes star on the diplomatic and overseas list to ensure he becomes Sir Lewis Hamilton, showing to everyone that with this Prime Minister, being a virtue signal in toss pot can well pay off. It says, according to the Daily Mail's claim, Johnson will use the list which recognises people who have given exceptional service to the UK abroad and internationally to knight the driver. Hamilton has been prominent in the Black Lives Matter campaign this year as well as winning on the track. Hamilton was awarded the MBE in 2008 after his first world title. He is set to become the fourth F1 driver to be knighted, following Sir Jack Barbham, Sir Sterling Moss and Sir Jackie Stewart. Hamilton also won BBC Sports Personality of the Year for 2020 earlier this month, which let's be honest, he was always going to do it because he was the wokest of them all. We know how the BBC deals with their shit in this day and age. A source close to the government told the Daily Mail Boris Johnson made it clear he wanted Lewis knighted so everyone was backed into a corner. The Sports Honor Committee were hesitant about Knight in Hamilton because of his Monaco residency. It meant HMRC could not adequately vet his tax affairs, something which has to be done ahead of any domestic award. Unless, of course, Boris Johnson decrees it, as we have seen this year. Who gives a fuck about any laws or anything like that? Laws are only for us peasants, not for these rich elitist cunts. Hamilton would be delighted to be knighted, as his comments from last month underlined. Though, I don't know how BLM would actually take that if he's called a sir under the empire of the UK, because they all still seem to think it exists and get very salty when anyone is made a sir or an MBE. Now the rest of it just talks a load of shit about Lewis Hamilton and when he was growing up, I really don't give a fuck. Boris Johnson is really starting to piss me off though. This sanctimonious virtue signaling BLM toss pot does not deserve to be knighted if you ask me. The way he acts as if he hates this country and shit like that makes him a snivelling shit weasel as I said, and definitely shouldn't be knighted. In fact, the MBE should be fucking stripped from him. I mean, I would bet that most Tory supporters really will not be backing this idea. Especially not, like I said, given what he has done this year. But then again, when does Boris Johnson actually give a fuck about what Tory supporters want at the moment? As we know, he fucking doesn't. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. 
Where off? <laughs>